if I had have known that you only got so much boys to last the whole weekend, I would have saved some from yesterday, but I was at the protest. And, and, and I want to thank Occupy Wall Street, Occupy Long Beach for, uh, for, <laughs> for inspiring me to find my boys. And I hope that I can return the favor. This, this movement is awesome. It's coming out um, in over 900 cities. People are organizing together to talk about what's going on. It's not a contest between red and blue. It doesn't matter um, what religion you are. It doesn't matter what color you are. We're all standing up as Americans and saying, hey, there's a problem. There's a huge, huge problem. There's a whole bunch of problems. Let's not pretend that there aren't. For the last five or six years, I've been educating myself on, on the issues, and um, I feel like we don't have a democracy so much as a corporatocracy. <laughs> I feel like the de decisions that affect all aspects of our lives are be being made, and we don't have a voice in them. And I've voted. I've written to my Congress people. I've written to the president. And still, I've just been one tiny voice crying out in the wilderness. But through these Occupy movements, I feel like if we come together, we can have a voice. They ask us what our demands are. Well, this isn't a hostage negotiation. Um, we want government for the people, by the people. If we must say it in one sentence, there it is. And we don't have that now. financial corporations who tanked the world economy be regulated. We do it for us and we do it for people all around the world who are crying out for economic justice. And when we rise up in solidarity to demand representative government um, and separation of corporation and state, we show the world that we still believe in the promise of America. The mega corporations who've hoarded the world's money and power for themselves and the tycoons of industry who have seduced our politicians, they don't want us to succeed. They're going to call us names. They're going to deny there's a problem. They will try to divide us. But in the end, it won't matter because humanity is waking up and rising up to put a stop to their greed and their lies and their wars. And in the end, it won't matter because truth is on our side.